Tell the story. Profile the business. Keep the money. Startup corner. Let's get it started in here. Do you even remember the quote that says, if you are not embarrassed by the first version of your product, you ship too late? Well, that is to say, it's okay to feel a certain way from the beginning. It's even okay to not get it right in the first place. Okay to feel inferior, but it's never the right time to quit. Here we are again on another fresh edition of the Startup Corner Show here on Africa Business Radio. Do not forget that this is where we analyze businesses, spotlight entrepreneurs, especially startups. We inspire and motivate them to do more. I am your regular host, Onoja, asking you to stick around because after the break, I will be speaking to another fantastic personality in the person of Ayemiro Fivo, founder and chief executive officer, Bella Laurent Skincare, right after break. We are the wind in the sails of your business. We are your compass. Chart your course towards your targets. Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa. All right, welcome back. It is still the Startup Corner Show here on Africa Business Radio. And like I mentioned, I have Aye Mire Favor. She's the founder and chief executive officer, Bella Lorette Skincare, a seasoned and talented skincare expert brand that brings natural solutions to complex skincare problems both home and abroad. Since the inception, I mean the beginning of this brand in 2018, she has been able to help clients find that special breed of confidence that only a flawless skin can bring. In just the space of two years, guess what, guys? Bella Lorette Skincare has been nominated and won a couple of awards. It will interest you to know that the founder, Ayemi Ray, is an undergraduate student of Yaba College of Technology, where she's currently studying marketing. Maybe that's why the secret is happening so fast and she's winning awards already. Hi, Ayemi Ray. Hi, good afternoon. Am I even pronouncing that name right? Ayemi Ray. Sounds yeah. like a song. Yeah, you are. It's I am Mary, so I am Mary. Okay, that's like the funky, funky five style of calling the I am Mary because it sounds like a TV call name, so you should be called I am Mary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do you feel? It's your first time here on African Business Radio. Oh, I feel so cool. I feel relaxed. I feel um, I'm happy because it's a motivation to me to be here to be put on air to talk about my brand it means i'm doing something right and i'm really proud of myself to say and it also goes a long way to say africa business radio has got you guys in mind mm. so we deserve some credit as well yeah you are you're doing so well and i'm i'm really happy i'm i'm really happy to be on the platform today all right Thank that's you. the point we're always excited to have you guys join us and you know this is the reason why we're here this show is actually created for entrepreneurs especially startups i mean this is why we do this all the time. People need to hear you guys because the business of entrepreneurship is such a big deal. And we need to support you guys and sell you out to the world. So there are lots of people across the Africa listening right now. And they're wondering, what is Bella Lorette all about? Even though I had given a bit, you know, snippet of what the brand is about. Would you tell us a, little, a bit more about it? Okay, so um, Bella Lorette Skincare is a natural skincare brand that help women to achieve a flawless skin. I actually battered pimples for it four years which um took me into studying and formulating recipes formulating different kind of recipes to treat my pimple it was so severe that i was so i felt really bad i took a lot of uh, medicine i went to a lot of pharmacies to prefer solutions to um the pimples which i was having because i noticed it reduced my self-esteem that was one i was not confident with myself and also, I just wanted people to forget about bleaching. Bleaching is outdated. The new fashion now in skincare is skin maintenance, which my brand is all about. So it's more like a natural brand to to help you achieve a flawless skin without you 
bleaching or doing anything that would harm your skin. Oh, great. Now, it's good to know that melanin is actually a trend right now. So I won't just try to, you know, hit on anybody. But then, I mean, like she said, bleaching is not in vogue anymore. So it's not like the end thing. But it's, if it's fine for you, whatever it is you want to do. But Laurie is here with solutions, providing solutions to people who have issues with their skin, especially the people who want to maintain the melanin color. Is that what we are? Yeah, not really the melanin. All skin type. Even uh, we have products for um, kids. We have for okay. guides. So it's our product is for all skin type and for everyone. Okay, so this movement, Bella Lorette Skincare, started in 2018. Yeah, that's when we started. And this is just 2019. We just have the space of two years. Yeah. Tell me so far, what has been the experience so far, the acceptance from people? How is the experience so far for you? It's been taxing. Okay. It's been challenging. You got to be emotional. Tell me about <laughs> so that. So many times I sit to cry because mm-hmm. I am a self-made entrepreneur. Mm. I never took a loan from any bank, from any microfinance. I never took a loan from any contribution or anything. I built myself. I remember when I started. Actually, Bella Laurit Skincare is not my first brand. I, ha- I had a perfume brand, which I'm bringing back. I had... um a fashion brand where I sold um, slippers, I crafted them and then I put them on sales. And then when I started, it was too poor, I must say. I mm. almost gave up. Mm. But you know, one thing about life is passion and determination, which had brought me far. And then um, I would go a bit personal. Growing up was quite difficult, and um, which affected my schooling because I wanted to be a soldier. Mm. And then uh, when I knew that <laughs> if I did not also, I would just be there. I would just keep roaming about. I had to give myself a definition, which um, got me into business. I started my business in 2005 on Venera. That's a den. I just wanted to do something. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to do something that I'll be proud of, which I think the brand is something I am so happy about. Mm. Ah, sometimes when I put spread or doubt there, I have to scream out. I have to keep writing captions. I have to keep updating so that people can buy it. But today, I'd say we sell out on products. Mm. I think we just ran it up um, a glow oil festival, which I sold over 150 pieces of glow oil, just the glow oil product. So I feel God has um, has a big plan for me. It's my time to to use the word grace. I am proud. I am happy and. Um, it's not been easy. I must say, it's really not been easy. Going to school and uh, um, doing business alone, it's it's one of the, <laughs> one uh, of the adventures. Okay. You got me a bit emotional. I like when people start by saying, oh my God, it's it's been a rough movement. I had to you know drop out of school. I had to pause a bit. However it is you try to put it, I understand there was some sort of hot, there was some sort of uh, terrible you know, experience. Uh, during that period, uh, real quickly, I'd like you to tell me, yeah, there must be this one particular awkward moment you've had building this brand, Bella Laurie Skincare. I'd like to know, did you have any take me to Jesus moment, any period of time that you felt like quitting, like this is not even meant for me? I had a time where I had to quit. The first journey I had, I made payment and along the line, my, my teacher passed on. I don't know what happened, whether they said spiritual or anything, she passed on. And then it was a bit difficult. I And then I met someone on Instagram who sells organic products. And I told her, Ma, I want to learn. I want to improve. I want to advance. And all she kept doing was to give me recipes. But I told her, this is not what I want. I, you cannot keep giving me just cooked food. You need to give me... How to cook. Yeah, you need to teach me how to fish. I want to I want to fish myself. Mm-hmm. You cannot just fry a fish and drop it on my table and tell me to eat. No. Were you paying at the time? Of course. I was paying a whole lot of money, <laughs> which has really affected. And sometimes one of our recipes can cost 20000 30 for just a single product. And I kept paying, thinking she was doing me a favor. Mm. Not until I met somebody and then she was like, Bella, you've been doing rubbish. I felt like it just... I felt like killing myself. I felt like, okay, this grant should just open and then let me enter. Meaning I've been selling rubbish. Though he's been active. But you know, when you've been, when you do something and you're very, very proud of what you're putting out, you know, skincare is something that you need to be very careful. The Nigeria um, government don't take it too serious. That's why, you see, most people will do a training of 1,000 and then they'll come out and tell you, I'm a skin therapist. Exactly. They have not gone through that route. The difficult courses mm-hmm. that you have to learn before you can tell them, oh, I'm a skin therapist. Of recent, I've learned a lot of terms, a lot of terms that I never knew. So, like, I'm very happy now because I already knew that what I was doing was just nonsense and now we are on the track, at least 
my my teacher, the last person that told me is a UK certified therapist, and she's been awesome. I'm I'm really happy I I met her. She has really opened my eyes to see that it is not just about buying several kind of oils, powders, and going to your house to mix. There are different formulations that you need to put. There are pHs you need to check made before you tell them, okay, now this is ready for sale. Exactly. So, so if you are someone who is, you know, aspiring to be an entrepreneur or there's something you want to go into and then it's okay to find a mentor. It's okay to find a teacher, someone who's been into the field and has some extra, you know, experience that you already have that you do not even have at all. But you need to at the same time, what she's saying is be careful. It's not just about having someone do the almost half of the work for you and then you come back to the rosary package and name it after yourself and say, okay, yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm selling. You also need to learn how these things are done from the grassroots. That way you can boldly say, yeah, I'm a starter. I'm an entrepreneur. That is the lesson we've learned right here. So we're going to go for a short break now. When we return, she's going to be telling us how we, you know, as the aspiring entrepreneurs can move in the forthcoming segment. to Africa Business Radio, where you get up-to-date insights on the Africa business landscape. Log on to www.africabusinessradio.com. Your favorite shows are available on podcasts. Download them on our website and mobile app. Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa. Okay, okay, good to know you're still tuned in. And do not forget, in case you just joined in, it has been the Startup Corner Show here on Africa Business Radio. Oh, well, I've been speaking to Ayemere Favor, founder and chief executive officer, Bella Loretz Skincare. And she's been taking us through her journey as an entrepreneur and a startup. You know what, guys? Literally, in the middle of the interview, she got very emotional and she began to cry. And this is me saying that, oh, my God, this startups and need all the support they need to get from us especially if you are just a listener and you're wondering oh wow okay so why am i even listening to this person when i already have an established company going on these people trying to come up are not finding it easy and going emotional on the show right now says a lot of things and i would extend the feeling right now for you guys to get into the feelings i understand that we need to support them all we can so bella Lorette has actually been doing so much obviously i mean she barely came out and she's already winning awards for herself which i'm super 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 proud for right now i like to talk to you about the pandemic i know it's been tough like you mentioned earlier and i want to believe like it got tougher with the pandemic at the moment how has this period been for you Okay, um, it's been difficult to an extent. Um, one, raw material prices increased by three. Mm. And it's not so funny for us. Because right now we're just selling because we want to sell. I'm not making profit as I used to. So it's it's not been easy. It's really not been easy. But what I did is um, I just shot um, a video campaign shoot for my brand. Because I, I intend to let people understand that it is not just applying cream on your body. You need to understand the components in the cream, in the lotion, the oils, whatever product you're using on your skin. So um, it should be out by next week. So I, it, it's been very taxing, but I'm not letting it get to me. Mm. I'm actually striving by using different methods to sell out my product. And as it's gradually fading, we believe that the pandemic will get over and we hope that everything comes back to Amen. normal. Amen. Okay, so basically, you know, there are a lot of skincare products companies out there. I'm just curious. You sound very passionate when, whenever you have to talk, you know, about your brand. And this is me thinking in my head that, yeah, the passion alone would make you put all the best energy, all the right vibe into making this product a better one what actually stands bella lorette skincare from others why do you think we should patronize you okay one of the reason is i would always say this bleaching is outdated it is skin maintenance because um when i was aired on um silver bed i was asked the same question and then they're like um why do you think we should be careful why selecting our body products as long as we walk under the sun 
Our skin is prone to several skin diseases, one which everyone is common is skin cancer. We will not want to use our money to buy problems for our skin, mm-hmm. which is why I keep saying this. You can achieve any skin result that you want as long as you're patient. I am not the type that sell product that work under one week, two weeks, three weeks. No, consistency and patience bring about great results when you're using my product to to um. When you're using your my product on your skin. So my own company is all about skin maintenance, helping you achieve a radiant skin without altering your skin, without giving you wrinkles, giving you um, green veins, stretch marks, and the likes. Okay, let's talk about internet. So we have you display lots of things on the internet. How has the internet helped you as a brand owner? Okay, so um, basically... I I would say I, I use more of Instagram and um, WhatsApp, and it's been very very wonderful. Um, I have a team where we we think through on how to come up with great content because the the market is so saturated. Mm-hmm. If I can it use is. that word, there are a lot of skin therapies, and every day new ones keep coming in. Exactly. And I notice those that sell products that work under three days, they have a larger buying um, market because their product work and, okay, I, I'm buying a product that work under three days. I say, oh, what are you using? Uh, it's just so brand. It works under three days. I buy. But they do not understand something. Like, I, okay, let me just use this example. I had a client that came, okay, she's in the U.S. Okay. And then she sent a DM on Instagram complaining about her skin issues. She has very stubborn stretch mark and all of that. And then she complained. She said when she was about to um, give birth, there were complications because she had to um, give birth through CS. Okay. And then after cutting her, it was so difficult to sew her. And Back. what the, co- the um, doctor said was because she had been using several products, it has made her skin so it's weak too. Mm. So imagine buying product because you want to be fine and end of the day you have difficulties in doing the things you're supposed to do with your skin so what what are, what are we uh um, achieving are we in the end yeah so it is best for you to buy a product that even if you stop using or you discontinue by any chance your skin still remains intact mm. so that's it okay that's actually true so why go for something that affects you will give you a negative effects like after usage i mean nobody wants to go through that experience now there's someone listening to you i mean I would have you as one of the best person to hear from because you speak with a lot of passion and emotion. And it it goes along with to say that you're actually in this, not because you just want to make money. You care about people's well-being as well, as much as you need the money. Yeah. So there's someone listening to you right now. Aside from the fact they want to know if your brand is actually NAVDAC approved. I mean, it's like the normal thing in Nigeria. We want to know if it's healthy enough for us to use. So before I ask you to advise someone listening to us or probably an entrepreneur who would like to hear from you as a mentor, tell us, is this brand certified now sorry is it certified is this something we can boldly come for and say yeah this is navdac approved so we can actually use it on our skin if not tell us why okay um actually i haven't gotten a navdac number but my business is registered and trademarked now the reason why i'm not rushing to get a navdac number is because i am taking time to build an empire now, I want people to walk into my my office and then they feel homely, they feel welcome. I'm not rushing to um, open an office, no. Because I, from the inquiries I had, I was told that before I can get a NAVDAC number, I have to have um, an office, a walk-in mm-hmm. space. Mm-hmm. So that is what is actually delaying, not the money. But it's registered. Yeah, it's so registered that's and sort of Okay, that sort of covers... Yeah, the assurance that, yeah, this is actually valid yes. and has no bad effects on our lives. Yes. Okay, really great. I, so I mentioned even before before the, uh, you know, there's, there's this part of the show where I allow you, the guests, to advise someone listening to us, especially okay. startups like you. But before then, let's talk about your your winnings, your awards. Now, I need someone to just know that this is a big deal. This is not just some random startup somewhere that I went to go and find on the street. You no, know, she's been doing big things in just a short while. Like, it is just barely two years since it started. Mm-hmm. And then you're already bagging awards. Tell about tell us about it, please. Okay, so last year I was nominated as an entrepreneur of the year by the Entrepreneur Africa. But unfortunately, I did not win. Okay. But I learned two things there. 
even if you do not win an award, you win a lot of people. And at that forum, I met a lot of people that we still talk. One of them shot my video, mm. my um, commercial shoot, which is Media Africa. A lot of them, I made friends, and we still talk up to today. And those people have actually imparted in me. They've inspired me to keep pushing through, never to relent. You get So it's not about the award. It's about meeting people that will help you achieve your goal. I might have gotten the award and still feel proud, or probably I would have gotten the award and feel relaxed. Ah, she within one um, one here, I've gotten an award, but I did not win for a reason. But thank God I won another, which is um, it was organized by people in business network. Subsequently, you won another one. Um, yeah, okay. same here. I think um, if not same week. Mm. Yes, I was nominated as um, most innovative um, entrepreneur of the year, and. So God's won. grace, I won it. Mm, I like the fact <laughs> that you keep you know referencing God. Yeah, it's God. I mean. That alone is more open doors for you. Yes. All right, so we wish you the very best in that field. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, before you leave, there's someone listening to us, especially startup. You know, there's someone listening that's about to start something like you are currently doing. What advice do you have for entrepreneurs listening to you at the moment? I'm just going to say two things. Or should I make it three? One, be prayerful. Put God first in anything you do. Because when you work with him, he work with you. And also, don't just start a business because you feel that, okay, Mommy Twinji started and she's making money. She's selling clothes. And so if I start selling clothes today, I'll make the money. Do you know if she has taught, taught it through? Do you know the things that she has done? Do you know the sleepless nights she has had? So work with your passion when you're going into any business. Do not just go because of greed. Because that's what most entrepreneurs or most startups um, have at the back of their mm-hmm. mind. Let me just start it, make this money, and then I switch. Um, to say I have another business. I have I run three businesses. Okay. I have a logistics. I have an event company, which is actually managed by someone. So you see, every of my business, I think it through. I I try to um do something. I know that okay is helping me. It's also uh, helping other people with job and helping other people to do so many kind of things. So I would advise before you start any business, please. That's because you have passion for it. Because when you have passion for something, you would always want to learn more. You want to keep doing well. Because if I never had um, passion for um, skincare, I wouldn't. I spent over one million for trainings because mm. it's very expensive. If it's not two fifty, it's one fifty, it's fifty. So I keep spending because I know I I, I know what I'm I'm I'm, I'm aiming at. I'm not okay. just doing it because I want to buy. Um, a product, buy B product, go to my house, put Mix both products together, put them in the cup, exactly. put my label, and then I'm selling out. Not knowing, not minding that these people using this product, they work tirelessly to give me this money. Exactly. I tell my client, I put you, I put myself in your shoes. It's not easy to make money. So if you're giving this money, I should give you value for your money. Not just, okay, I've collected that, that 10 era and okay, I'm giving out a product. I don't care even if she doesn't come back. I'm, I'm hmm. where I am today because of referrals. That's just the truth. Referred. One person can give me four referred, three referred. So because the product is actually good, that's why it's coming back, which is where passion comes in. And also you have to be very determined. Determination will always take you far. You draft your goals and make sure you walk towards it. Like before um, before I started business this year, I had to sit, get a note and pen. I wrote down what I want to achieve. And truly, I must say that. You've been achieving. So this year was very logistic. So. Ooh. What are we saying? Okay. We're so proud of you, man. Thank you. Okay, we're so proud of you. Oh, well, so we've, we've heard it for I, I, from Aye Mary. Your, your, your name sort of gives me a lot of headache. I've been pronouncing that Aye Mary. Sounds like your song, but I'm getting past it, you know. Right, okay, it's so, pronounced correctly, though. Oh, wow. So I'm doing well. Okay, so I've been speaking to Aye Mary, and she said everything. The advice is be passionate. It's not about making the money. Yeah, money would actually be part of. Like, you know, the results of what the passion is giving you. But be passionate first and then you can actually say, oh, yeah, I can now make money from the passion. It's been such an amazing journey with you, Aye Mary. So Thank there's someone know. listening and wondering how they can connect to you. So give us that handle where we can search and find you for probably up to make orders or inquiries. Okay, so my handle is same thing on all um, platform. Instagram, Bella underscore Laurit, which is spelled L A U R E W T E underscore skincare. Same on Facebook and then on Twitter. And then on WhatsApp, it's 08176297628. 
Awesome. So we've heard her. If you're wondering how you can connect to her, there you have it. Search her, make the order, make the inquiry, and thank me later like we always do it. So it's been an amazing time here on Africa Business Radio, and it's been Ayemi Re, the founder and chief executive officer, Bella Loret Skincare, a seasoned and talented skincare expert brand that brings natural solutions to complex skincare problems, both home, I mean here in Nigeria, and abroad. Since the inception of this brand, remember I mentioned that she's been able to help lots of lots of clients. Let me not just over blue so it doesn't look like she paid me some sort of money. You know, let's just take it slow there. So all you need to do is to check her out, get in touch with her, and then you can place your orders. Thank you so much for dropping by. On behalf of me and Ayemire is have a great one. Bye.